Hello everybody, it's Dazzly Air again. Um, this is another video of uh, one of those builds you don't see very much on the realms and one that I quite enjoy. Um, this is my two-handed Travan Call Zealot. Um, so I actually just did a run to make sure I was still up to snuff on it. I don't play him very often, um, but all he does is run Trav and he does it on player 7. So I'm going to do one run um, so you can see what it looks like and then I'll go through uh, sort of the gear he uses. So, most of this is like just the very typical bar, uh, Trav Zealot stuff with um, shout, or I guess shouts, yeah, CTA, bow, battle command, that kind of thing, and then charge in, call it good. And as you can see, it is insanely strong. Um, so, this is a build that somebody recommended to me on the single player forum as something that's a good time for running Trav. Uh, now I'm not going to go into the benefits for running Trav because I think you guys all know it, but um, basically looking for runes. Specifically I'm looking for a few jaw. Um, anything else is nice, but I'm in this for jaw. I also pick up gold because I don't have a whole lot right now. Um, so yeah, that was one run. You could see that was pretty quick. So we'll go back in and I'll show you his gear. Um, so I've got CTA, I love that one. I use Spirit, it's F, whatever. That's for Switch, obviously. And then sort of what makes this build shine. Um, this is a, a Death Colossus Blade. And the reason the damage is so high is because it came from a 1.07 base. Now, in single player form, we have a script called Trend Shadows that lets us play in older patches. So I play a little bit in 1.07, and a lot of people play in 1.09. Now, this base, I didn't go find myself. I had a rack for it, but racking is really boring. <laughs> so I just traded for it. Um, I, I think I traded a fine small charm of good luck for this base. So the base doesn't have any ED, but it rolled pretty good. Uh, 1.07 ethereal items have plus 50% maximum damage, and that holds when you bring them forward to 1.13. That's why the damage on this guy is so outrageously high. And then the rest is really typical. Laying of Hands, Dwarf Star, String of Ears, Raven Frost, Gore Rider. Uh, I use Fortitude and Ariel's Visage and High Lord's Wrath. And then um, the Mercenary is another typical Mercenary. I use Guardian Angel, Kira's with a Rao Rune, and um, the Reaper's Toll. So the Rao Rune is for the Hydras because those things are freaking annoying. Um, so I'm going to do one more run and really sort of solidify the point. And I'm going to show you my character screen when I'm done with this run, because the damage on this thing is sick. And it's just such a fun build, because you, as you can see, he's pretty much invincible. I mean, I haven't used a single potion. This is all from uh, Lifesteal, and the fact that Laying of Hands does however much ED to demons, it's outrageous. Um, and then the Mercenary obviously decrepifies everything, and uh, yeah, so this is still on player 7. Uh, it's a good time. I haven't found a whole lot on this character, which is probably why I don't play him all that much. Because um, I just, I found that other uh, targets, I suppose, for me, have been more effective. Namely, Lower Kurost. I've, oh crap, I was going to show you gear, or the damage. But I found Lower Kurost to be crazy good in terms of runes. I actually, um, I cubed four sirs that I got from Lower Kurost so I could make Enigma. Um, so, wow, I'm just failing this morning. Sorry, I'm usually awake a little bit earlier, so I'm a little bit tired. But I guess we'll do one more, just for fun. So, wow, that was actually a little bit close. And I forgot to bow. My bad. Okay, hopefully I don't get killed. Come on, mercenary, you can do it. Uh, one thing to note is, if I had a chance, it, this map is not the greatest. My Barbarian had a good one for a while, but I got rid of it. Um, if you have a really good map, then you'll have a chance to run down into the, the Durance before you go into Trav, which is really good to do because it lets you reposition your Mercenary and you don't get that crap where he's walking uh, really slow back to where you're at. So, okay, so now damage. Uh, yeah, I'm amped. Um, as you can see, it's up to 13k on Zeal. So, hits really hard, and you don't need any resists. So, if you want to make this build, um, probably Dwarf Star and Raven Frost, I think, are they're not absolutely required, but I think they're the best choice because Raven Frost gives you can't be frozen and much needed attack rating, and then Dwarf Star gives you that fire absorb, which makes the Hydras a lot less worrisome. 
Um, laying of hands is pretty much required. I mean, the, you can't get anything better than 350 ED to demons and 20 IAS. Uh, the rest of this is all as you'd like. Um, if you have a better pair of boots or you want to use War Traveler, that's fine too. I find the Crushing Blow is nice. I also don't use MF on this character because uh, I'm not looking for uh, uniques. I'm just looking for maybe some uh, facets would be nice, but I'm just looking for runes and I pick up rares too just because I like them. Um, same thing here. You really probably don't need this, but the lifesteal is nice. This obviously is sort of my number one choice. You really don't need to teleport on this guy because charge is just as fast. And uh, the enhanced damage on this thing I just think is too good to pass up. Um, I just happen to love this helm. There's plenty of options you could use here. Vampire Gaze, I think that's what it's called. Um, and then High Lords. So most of it's like really typical melee or setup. I just choose to not use any MF. As for charms, these are mostly like fine, charm, or fine small charm of life, Vita, sustenance, strength, etc. Um, this one just for a little bit of extra damage, some faster hit recovery. I can't remember which breakpoint I'm at, but I know I, I did that for a reason. I, I put an extra charm in there to get that breakpoint. Um, some resists, Geeds, just because who doesn't run with Geeds, and then uh, the rest of these are just sharp grand charms. Uh, a couple of Vita, oh that's kind of cool, um, and then yeah. So that's the build. Let me know if you have any questions. This got a lot longer than I thought it would. So catch you later.